guys. Bring Maddie here with Sis. Hi! And it's time for more of the Hobbit. Last time we uh, got a valuable gold ring. Now it's time to get out of here. Hopefully. Sell it. Sell that ring. Hopefully we don't get captured again. If we do, it's not a huge deal, but it's a little annoying. <clears throat> The vicious goblin captures you. <laughs> you know, better there were two goblins in there, so. <laughs> Is Thorn still carrying you? No. No. Oh. Alright, so we're back here. There's Gandalf, where's Thorn? There he is. Thorin's also the most helpful character, as he's the least likely to not do what you want him to do. Alright, so, southwest. Hey! <laughs> Give that back. Thank you. <laughs> I was just looking at it, jeez. Alright, west. I swear to god, but there's a goblin standing here. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. East. <laughs> Alright. Ha! You are in a large cavern lit by natural light filtering from above. Above? There is the goblin's back door. You can go west, north, south, east, southeast, southwest, down, northeast, northwest. You can see nothing. Thorin enters. You open the goblin's back door. You go up. You are in a small glade, standing near a grate set into the ground. Below, there is the goblin's back door. You can go east. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. So the important thing to do here before we just bugger on off is to, uh... Close the door. You close the goblin's back door. Thorn because waits. Otherwise, the goblins might get out and start wandering around, and that's... That's not ideal, let's say. Do they capture you and bring you all the way back? Yeah. Annoying. <clears throat> Surprised we haven't seen the vicious war yet. Maybe somebody killed it already. You are in an opening where no trees grow at the edge of a pine forest. Visible exits are west-east. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. You go east. This picture isn't too bad. I kind of like that one. You are in a wide hall with a fireplace in the middle. The smoke from the fire rises into the blackened rafters in search of a way out through an opening in the roof. You can go north, northeast, northwest, south, southwest. You can see a heavy curtain. Thorin enters. It doesn't say as much, but this is Bjorn's house. He ain't home. But, uh... You know. I'm gonna go through his stuff. You open the heavy curtain. Behind the curtain, there is a wall. In the wall, there is a large cupboard. You open the large cupboard. In the cupboard, there is some food. Time for fourth lunch. You eat some food. Thorn says, hurry up! Thorn, you don't understand my culture. You go northeast. My culture is 
Eat, eat food. all the time. Constantly eating. All right. Now we're at Merkwood. We're <laughs> it's just, you know, right there. You are at the gate to Merkwood. <clears throat> the entrance of the path is like a sort of arch leading t into a gloomy tunnel made by two great trees that lean together. The path itself is narrow and winds in and out among the trees. Visible exits are east, west, south. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. <clears throat> All right. So what might happen here is as we go to the east, there might be a wood elf wandering around who will throw us into wood elf jail. Great. Which is fine. But he might not be there, which is also fine. You go east. I see a spider's web, I think. Yep. Which is interesting because it's not on this screen. <clears throat> you are in a bewitched gloomy place surrounded by thick trees. A dense black shadow like a patch of midnight lies ahead. It is filled with spider webs, one behind and over and tangled with another. To the south there is the fast black river. Visible exits are west, east. You can see nothing. Thorin enters. You go east. I think it was music. The music in this game is pretty good. <clears throat> you know, for the time. This came out in 1982 or three, so it is pretty aged. Here's the Black River. I actually kind of like that tree. It's very, very Dr. Seuss. Yeah, it's very the Lorax <laughs> looking tree. Oh, here's the Wood Elf. You're not gonna get to read that. Oh no, Wood Elf! How dare! So yeah, we just got thrown in jail. <laughs> Which again is fine, unless the Warg is in here, then we might have a problem. Sometimes the Wood Elf captures the Warg and throws him in jail. Oh, you can't read it. Oh, yay, okay. You are at the west bank of a stream. It flows fast and strong, although it is not very wide across. The water is black, or at least looks that way in the gloom. To the east, there is the fast black river. Visible exits are west. You can see the wood elf. Thorn enters. The wood elf captures you. You are in a dark dungeon, somewhere under the elven king's great hall. To the southwest, there is the red door. More. <clears throat> oh god. There it is! <laughs> to the west, there is the red door. You can see nothing. The vicious warg appears! Alright, this is gonna... <clears throat> this is gonna be a thing. Um, let's do a quick snapshot. Let's have an actual snapshot, too. <laughs> this might take a few tries. We c are capable of killing this war. G G but... Bilbo ain't great at fighting, so... Kill Warg with sword. Alright. <laughs> you attack the vicious Warg with the short, strong sword. With one well-placed blow, you cleave his skull. The Warg is dead. You wait. Time passes. Thorn appears. Hey. <clears throat> Turning to you, Thorn asks, you wouldn't by chance like visiting these horrible dungeons. By any chance. So this time we just need to wait a little bit. You wait, time passes. Thorn, with a faraway look in his eyes, starts muttering about golden treasure. You wait, time passes. You wait, time passes. You wait, time passes. Thorn says, hurry up. The door's not already open, is it? No. You cannot go west. You wait, time passes. You wait, time there passes. Is. Someone unlocks the red door with the red key. You cannot go west. You open the red door. Hey. Thorn waits. Someone closes the red door. <laughs> you open the red door. <laughs> Go west. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> you, 
You are in a great hall with pillars hewn out of the living stone. To the east, there is the red door. To the west, there is the magic door. Visible exits are south. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. Okay. So we're gonna go... I'm gonna wear the ring real quick. You wear the valuable golden ring. Thorn says, where's the thief? Because down here will probably be the butler. And he will throw us back in jail, which is literally two screens away, so it's only annoying more than a problem, but, uh... You go south. You're in a large cellar filled with barrels of foodstuffs. One wall near a great oaken trap door is deserted, except for a lone barrel. To the northeast, there is the red door. Below, there is the large trap door. You can go north. You can see the butler. The butler is carrying the red key, a barrel. Thorn enters. The butler opens the large trap door. You attack the butler with a short, strong sword, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. Thorn says, where's the thief? The butler captures Thorn. You attack the butler with a short, strong sword, but the effect is wasted. His defense is too strong. The butler opens the barrel. You attack the butler with a short, strong sword, but the effort is wa wasted. His defense is too strong. Thorn enters. The butler captures Thorn. You attack the butler with a short, strong sword, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. Oh my god. Thorn enters. The butler captures Thorn. You attack the butler with a short, strong sword, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. Bear. Thorn enters. The butler captures Thorn. You attack <laughs> the butler with a short, strong sword. With one well-paced, placed blow, you cleave his skull. The butler is dead. Thorn enters. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> For which one of us? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> you talk to Thorin. Thorin climbs into the barrel. You close the barrel. The barrel is too heavy to lift. <sighs> In the barrel, there is Thorn. Thorn is carrying the small, curious key. Thorn climbs out of the barrel. You take the barrel. Let's try this again. You talk to Thorn. Thorn climbs into the barrel. You close the barrel. You throw the barrel through the large trap door. You jump onto the barrel. For... Something? We're gonna get... moved automatically a little bit. Forest driver. Forest river. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You can see a barrel. You are at a place where the trees on either side of the river open out and grow thinner. Ahead, the river widens out and is joined by the main waters of the forest river. To the east, there is the strong porculus. Above, there is the large trap door. You can s uh, sorry. To the south, there is the fast river. You can see a barrel. Thorn waits. You are thrown onto the bank of the long lake. Long Lake. Visible exits are east, north, south. You can see a barrel. I do not see the barrel here. <laughs> I disagree with your claims, <laughs> game. You are at the entrance of the Long Lake. The lake has a wide mouth with a stony cliff. Oh, sorry. With stony cliff-like gates at either side whose feet are piled with shingles. The opposite shores of the lake are just visible, while the far end cannot be seen at all. To the northwest, there is the strong porculus. You can go east, north, south. You can see Thorn. Thorn is carrying the small curious key. Thorn waits. Okay. Let's go to the east. You go east. <clears throat> I'm 
Look at this picture. It's fine. You are in a wooden town built mm. out on the surface of the lake, protected from the swirl of the entering river by a promontory. Is that right? I think so. Of rock that forms a calm bay. Huh? Okay. The. Uh, sorry. Ah! Uh, great bridge of wood runs to the shore where a few huts and buildings lie. You can go north, south. East, west. You can see Bard. Bard is carrying a bow. Bard is also not a bard. What a liar. A quiver. In the quiver, there is a strong arrow. Thorn enters. Hello, Bard. You talk to Bard. Can, can I say anything, man? We nope. wait. Time passes. So we could tell Bard where we want him to go, but Bard's a little bit of a jerk sometimes. So we're gonna just uh, kind of abduct him. You carry Bard. Thorn <laughs> says, "Well, are we going to just stand here all day?" We can just bring Bard with us forcibly. <laughs> you go north. I like the image of Bilbo Baggins just, like, hoisting Bard up on his shoulders and walking off with him. <laughs> I like the idea of you just walk up to him, say, hello, there's no response, then you just stand there for a while staring at each other, and then Bilbo just, like, picks him up and is just like, okay, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> You're at the entrance this is the of same, Long. I believe. Oh, yeah. There's the shingles. Yeah, it's the same. North again. Is that new? Yep. Oh. You are at the edge of a forest near a river. Branches overhead hang out over the river, and great branches come right down to the water's edge. You can go up south. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. Where's Bard? We're carrying him. He's in our pocket. Oh. Weird. <laughs> Speaking of weird... Here's, uh... The giant cow skull. Very famous place. You are in a bleak and barren land that had once been green and fair. There is little grass now, and neither bush nor tree, only broken blackened stumps to speak of one's long vanished. That, is that a bunch of nonsense? <laughs> Alright, visible exits are north down. You can see nothing thorn enters. You go north. Crappy village. <clears throat> you are in Dale Valley. Here, the river foams and splashes among many boulders, and in the wide valley shadowed by the mountain's arms, you lie the gray ruins of ancient houses, towns, and walls. Multiple towns? Alright. Visible exits are north, south, north, West. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. Thorn remarks to you, Welcome to what was once the singular merry town of Dale. As you can see, all that smog has left is a shattered ruin. Thanks for the history lesson, Thorn. You go northwest. A sudden blast of picture. <laughs> Suddenly we were blasted by this picture. <laughs> Chill wind reminds you that autumn is almost at an end, and winter fast approaching. You are at the gray and silent cliffs, at the west side of Riven Hall. You can go north, south, east, east. You can see nothing. Thorn enters. Thorn remarks to you, our quest would seem to be almost over one way or another. That's right. <laughs> 
you in north. looking at a picture hills <clears throat> you are in a barren empty place high up in the mountains you can go south northwest west you can see nothing thorn enters same east. same this is the same northwest same wee, wee, and wee, wee. wait a minute this is a little different Oh, you are in a barren, empty place high up in the mountains. Traces of a narrow track can be seen wandering to the top of a nearby ridge. You can go north, south, east, south. You can see nothing, Thorn enters. And this will be a new. Not a good picture. You are in a little steep walled bay, grassy, floored, still and quiet, open to the sky above, but otherwise cave like. At the inner end, a flat wall rises. The lower part of this wall, close to the ground, is a smooth and upright as a mason's work but without joint or crevice to be seen. That was a little bit messed up, too. You can go south, up. You can see nothing. A thorn enters. Did this game not have an editor? <laughs> too bored. Talk to Bard. Thorn sits down and starts singing about gold. Bard takes the strong arrow out of the quiver. Bard. You talk to Bard. Bard says no. Thorn waits. Don't give me this crap, Bard. Go up. Thank you. Bard goes up. You wait. Now we wait. Time passes. You wait. Aha. Thorn waits. And the last ray of sunlight. I'm oh, sorry. As. The last ray of sunlight falls on the smooth rock face. There is a loud crack, and a flake of rock splits and falls from wall. A hole suddenly appears in the wall about three feet from the ground. the mountain side door with a small curious key. You open the mountain side door. Thorn says, why are we going to just stand here all day? You talk to Thorn. Thorn goes south. You go east. Don't really want Thorn coming in here and getting uh, annihilated by the dragon. His, his job is done now, but you don't need to kill him, right? <laughs> You're in a passage made by dwarves, straight as a ruler smooth floored and smooth sided the entrance is lit by two torches high up on the walls but the end of the tunnel cannot be seen to the west there is the mountain side door you can go east you can see nothing time for the very important business the war of three armies that isn't in this game. Yeah, I figured. Let's put on our ring. You wear the valuable golden ring. Sometimes Smog sees you anyway, because, you know, dragon. You go east. in the ancient bottommost cellar of the ancient dwarves right at the mountain's root. 
On all sides, stretching across the unseen floors, lie countless piles of precious things. Gold, wrought and unwrought. Gems and jewels and silver, red stained in the ruddy light. You can go south, east, up. You can see the red golden dragon. A valuable treasure. So we can try and kill, uh... Smog ourselves. For the sword? Sometimes, sometimes it works! <laughs> Usually you just die, but, uh... Give it a go. Just one. Just give it one go. I did just make a save, right? I don't remember. Maybe. You attack the him red up. golden dragon with a short, strong sword, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. You take the valuable treasure. You go east. A smooth, straight passage. Visible exits are east. You can see nothing. A terrifying roar from the dragon's lair behind you shatters the silence. You go west. The side door. You can see some mountains. You need to go to where our buddy Bard is real quick. <laughs> In the distance, dragon flying after you, you are high up lonely mountains, silence broken by no bird sounds except for wind crevices, exits are blah blah blah, bard. In the distance, you see the shape of a monstrous dragon flying after you. If you're in my Discord, you will know what happened last time when I was doing my test run of this, so I'm gonna... Gonna just make that real quick. Silence reigns supreme. Thorn says, Where's the thief? In the distance, you see the shape of a monstrous dragon flying after you. Bye, Thorn. Thorn goes south. In the distance, you see the shape of a monstrous dragon flying after you. In the distance, you see the shape of a monstrous dragon flying after you. will eventually land. <sighs> Come on. Monstrous dragon flying super slowly. Nope, oh, there he is. Roaring with rage, smog descends. So now we need Bard to save us. I kind of hope he says no, just like so get this on video too. Dang. <laughs> I'll add in a frame at the end, so you can see the wonder of Bard just deciding to be a jerk. You talk to Bard. Bard shoots the red golden dragon. The arrow hits the dragon. The dragon is dead. Thanks. Oh. Thanks? Try thanks. Oh. So you might notice that the game is not ended. Can you just thank Bard? No. Darn. We need to go home and put our treasure in the chest. <laughs> to that's, win the game. That's something. Isn't it? You know, I'm gonna make another snapshot real quick. Oh my god, no. Click, 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 click. Should we send Bard home? Whatever. Let's 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 send Bard home. Don't get don't get to take your arrow though. Go out. God damn it. <laughs> Go south, south, south. Down, south. If he says no, I'm not going to send him home. Alright, fine, you get to stay here, Bard. Bye. <laughs> no. Fine. I tried, okay? <laughs> oh, hey, Thorn. He still has the weird key. At the foot of the lonely mountain. Three down. 
the dragon's desolation. That's just the description, I guess. Cool. Morning river. river. South. Long lake. South. I guess this is a new... I must say, this is a very lovely spot, Bilbo. Is that the first time he said your name? I think it is. Alright, I'm gonna hopefully not get caught by the wood elf. You're below Long Lake, where its doubled waters pour over a high river fall and run away into unknown lands. You go south. You are at the edge of a forest near a river. Branches overhead hang out over the river. This is something we've already seen. Bulbous eyes stare at you. Oh no. So we gotta wait two turns here. Or else those bulbous eyes will kill us. Straight gray tree trunks, gross. Disused path into the forest. To each side, impassable marshes stretch out of sight. Bulbous eyes, bulbous eyes, bulbous eyes. If you don't wait two times, they kill you. No questions asked. Yes. path through the forest. The trunks of the trees are huge and gnarled. The branches twisted, their leaves dark and long. Ivy grows on them and hangs almost to the ground from the overhanging boughs. Visible exits are east, south. You can see nothing. A thorn enters. We gonna fight some spiders? No. Those bulbous eyes might have been the spiders. Oh. But you can't do anything with them aside from die. Lame. 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 The forest gate. Okay. Bayorn's house. We're out. We're almost home now. Path through near, Mr. Mountains. Near, 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 near. Hi, Elrond. Hello. Give me food. Take that one home with me. Now, eat your lunch. Eat. Eat food. Do it. Eat that food. Eat the food. Eat, eat the food. Yeah. Eat some lunch. Before Thorin can complain. You open the wooden chest. I wonder what happened to Gandalf. <laughs> Who knows? You put the valuable treasure in the... 
chest. Treasure chest? Wooden chest? Something chest. Wooden chest. Wooden chest. So we went there and came back again. And get this. Um. Okay. A cheering crowd of dwarves, hobbits, and elves appears. Well, what? that's improbable. <laughs> Led by Gandalf, they carry you off into the sunset, proclaiming you hero of heroes and master adventurer. Well, that ain't true. You have mastered 91% of this adventure. I don't know where the missing points are. <clears throat> you can't kill the goblins permanently. They just fall into a hole, air quotes, and respawn. Unless you break the game a little bit by throwing stuff at them. Might be able to get another point if we had found Gollum and murdered him for no reason. Trolls? You, you can't kill them. Hmm. Not even, Gandalf and or Thorin can kill one sometimes when the other one kills them. Can't shatter them? Nope. Hmm. But yeah, we have completed The Hobbit and nothing too crazy happened this run through. Like I said, I'll, I'll uh, put a still in for a little while at the end of this video of Bard getting me killed my first go. No. <laughs> but, I suppose, that's it for The Hobbit. Hooray! Next time we'll do something else. Who knows what? Maybe you won't abuse my voice. Nah, that seems unlikely. Eh. Anyways, later guys. Ciao!